For the most part, blockchain is systematically changing the way we do many things. Of course, it has not totally changed our applications and websites, but gradually it is becoming evident that there is more to blockchain than cryptocurrencies. If you ask anyone about their understanding of blockchain and its emerging technology, the first thing that comes to mind is crypto and making money. While that is not totally wrong, people must understand that there is more to this blockchain than crypto. That is one reason why we started this channel, to educate you about tech and blockchain products. Using animation and storytelling techniques so that even your five-year-old cousin can understand it. In that case, if you have not subscribed, please do that and help us grow this community. Like this video so that more people can see it. And don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can get notified each time we post an exciting video. Today we will talk about discover, not spelt in the way it is pronounced. Discover is what we will understand to be our own Reddit. If you are familiar with Reddit, you will understand that Reddit is all about building social community and sharing ideas. But to put it in their exact word, Reddit is an American social news aggregation, web content trading, and discussion website. Although it is not only for Americans, it is used globally. But enough about Reddit. Let us dig deep into Discover. Discover, in this case, is like a Reddit built on a blockchain system. Let's put in the founder's exact word. Discover is a decentralized social content aggregation platform running on the internet computer blockchain where users control not only the content, but also the platform itself. Did you find the similarity? I discover that most of our regular application are now being transitioned from Web 2 into Web 3 on the blockchain infrastructure. So the question will then be, if we all transition from our Web 2 applications to Web 3 applications, what will happen to these other apps that happen to be the global force in their field? Well, I leave that question for you to answer in the comment section. Let's look further into Discover. Aside from being similar to Reddit, another interesting feature on Discover is that the app is governed by its users. Imagine Reddit's development and upgrades were governed by the most dedicated members of its community. Discover is currently in its earlier initial development, and it has amassed more than 14,000 users since it launched. It is owned and controlled by its users, putting power in the users' hands and allowing them to decide the platform's fate. Let's break this down even further by looking at four important components on Discover infrastructure. First is that Discover is built on the internet computer. What's better than building a decentralized community on decentralized internet computer? Discover runs entirely on-chain on the internet computer, demonstrating the growth of blockchain-based social dApps that are accessible on the web. They believe that internet computers also gives them the web speed needed to bridge the gap between users who are used to centralized product experiences yet on decentralized technology. We have once discussed internet computer on this channel, also known as Definity. Kindly check out that video to understand what Definity does and how they do it. The second component is its targeted users. Since we are all used to Reddit and many other options, they have devised a way to ease people into this platform. They plan to start as the decentralized forum embraced by the crypto community and then expand to adjacent communities from there and eventually become an alternative for anyone who uses Reddit. That sounds like a good plan. Because in an actual sense, only those who understand the philosophy of blockchain and cryptocurrencies will love to use a decentralized community anyway. The third is its governance system. Governance will play a key role in helping Discover reach its goals. They have a governance model that starts with two very simple concepts. 1. Users earn governance rights. With these rights, they can make product decisions to guide the direction of the platform. 2. Upvotes get you votes. You earn rights by receiving upvotes on posts, comments, and portals you manage and create. In essence, this is similar to the karma that is earned on Reddit for the same engagement in its community. These rights will be represented by a social token. The primary focus points will be architecting meaningful social tokens that give users real influence. Additionally, users can fund the platform, support its growth, and earn another type of token called the service token. The service token holders will focus on creating economic value for the platform itself. Service tokens will account for 50% of the governance decision. To break this down a bit, the governance will be built on two tokens, the social token and service token. The social token will give dedicated users the right to vote based on community engagement. 
the service token holders will only focus on creating economic value for the Discover platform. The last component is the Social Fabric protocol. With the Social Fabric, users will have access to an open protocol that allows them to build self-contained and self-governed communities benefiting from the ecosystem of tools that power Discover. This particular component will ensure the discovery's evolution from just a platform like Reddit into social community infrastructure. Let's put this together. The major social networks are currently controlled by massive companies that often make questionable choices, while critical decisions that drive the platforms happen behind closed doors. Centralized social communities have always given us many questions to ponder. For instance, why does this redesign feel terrible? What are you doing with our data? How are these decisions being made? And since the users are the ones creating the content on most of these Web2 social platforms, many believe they should have some sort of control over what happens. And this might be what will eventually lead us into these decentralized social communities. Kindly note that this is not a paid advert by Discover, and the idea is still in its early days, but it is one many people should look into. I am sure they will add more features to that infrastructure as they progress. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow this community and encourage our hard work. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post an exciting video. Don't hesitate to share your idea in the comment section. Also, let us know what project you would like us to look into. We are looking forward to hearing from you. See you next time.